Yo, what is up, YouTube? James back here. Welcome back to another episode of VGC 2019 Back to Back Battles. Today is the last episode with this Kyogre Ho team. We got Kyogre Ho, Mega Gengar, Farifarn, Incineroar, and Tapu Koko. If you haven't checked out the previous episode, highly recommend go check it out. But it is the last episode with this team. Uh, this awesome Weather Ball Ho team that got second place at Korea Nationals. If you want to go check it out. It is in the description down below. That team report and the pacement is in the description down below. But let's get started and play some games. This team is really fun. It's been putting in a ton of work. So really happy with this team. Uh, we have had some great battles with this team. Like some really close games. And yeah, it's really fun to play. I really love the Weather Ball Ho. Oh, it's really fun. Um, wouldn't let me change music for some reason. But <laughs> Uh, Weatherball Hall has been surprisingly good. I mean, I'm surprised how many times we have been able to get the Weatherball off. But we got Ur Yayo from Spain, 16-13 rating as our first opponent of today with the Ray Ogre, which is always a tough matchup with Celesteela, Talonflame. Is this a... Oh, no. If this is Scarf, I lose. I can't beat Scarf. I can't beat Scarf Ogre with this team. Well, I do have a Ferrofarn, I guess. Did I bring Ho in this matchup? I feel like not. If it's wide guard though, I probably lose. Okay, yeah, let's just go with these four. <laughs> uh, this could be bad. If the Serena's all out pummeling, and the Kyogre is Scarf on my opponent's team, we lose the game. We lose the game. Because tell me what my switching is, because I don't have a switching. Let's see how this is going to go though. I'm leaning Coco Fairfront just in case it is that lead because I could probably just sack Incin and go for the power whip if that is the case. Uh, my opponent might play smart though and just conserve it, but yeah, this could be a really rough matchup depending on what kind of Kyogre set that is. It is going to be the Serena and Kyogre. I'm really thinking that's going to be Scarf on the Kyogre right here. If it's Primal, that's a lot easier to handle. But it's going to be my uh, Coco and. Fairfront. Okay, it's not Scarf Kyogre because it would have activated the, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, well, that's one thing off my chest. That's really good for me. Wonder Power would be able to knock it out. I doubt it. I feel like you wouldn't want to take an Electric Z, so I feel like it's potential for two plays. Protect and go for a uh, high jump kick in a Pharaoh for Chip. I think that's a very viable play. I think I'm just going to Volt Switch to Serena and uh, try to get my Incident in for Chip. Or the Intimidate at least, so I can live a War Spell plus high jump kick afterwards. So but there is a Kyogre Protect. We will protect Pharaoh. I'm hoping high jump kick is coming out into that slot. But... It's Scarf Serena and has Power Whip. Oh no. It doesn't knock out, but that's really bad. That's really bad. Okay. Oh, that's really bad. Um, I'll go Kyogre here, I guess. Out of all the abilities, it had to be. <laughs> so the Serena was a Scarf one. Oh, this is going to be really hard to come back from. This is going to be really hard to come back from. Okay. So I could power up your ogre. I confirmed you were Scarf Serena. You could power up my ogre. And switch an array I think. Or one of your fire types. But I think it's more likely you go array. So maybe if I can catch that. I have a good chance of winning. Because I'm thinking, like, if I protect Power Up and my opponent goes in a Ray, I think I lose. Because, like, how am I supposed to beat that? I'm going to go instant here. And Ice Beam. I have to make an aggressive play, I think, in order to have a shot of winning this. Okay. Show me Ray. Show me Ray. No, it's the Incineroar. Oh, Origin Pulse would have been fine. Ah. <sighs> Well, this is really bad. Especially if there is a ray in the back because my ray counters got weakened. No, I should have ice been to Serena. Or at least Origin Pulse. <laughs> Origin Pulse was probably better because I got a lot more chip. If it misses, I'm in this fine spot, I guess. No. 
Dang, that does a lot. No. Uh, can't even get the freeze. I'm gonna U-turn out to Serena and I'm gonna protect. Uh, is there a reason to protect? No, I'm gonna go uh, Pharaoh. Because you're, lock you're locked in. You have to go for a uh, power whip into my Kyra slot. There might be a fake out into instant and a power whip into Kyra slot. No. Rip me, dude. I tried to make the aggressive play. I thought it made sense because I thought if you could get Ray in, you could like maybe sword stance or just dress in a lot of damage with a dragon scent, which is why I went for that play. We're going to see the Incineroar switch out once again into the Kyogre. Um... Hmm. Trying to think. I actually preferred that to hit. I wanted the Iron Bar's chip. Uh, cause that would have allowed one more to KO it. Gotta go Ogre here. I gotta go Ogre. Do I hope for like the miss? Or do I hope for like the instant switch again? Because I think instant switching here. You might expect me to protect Ogre this time. And go Incineroar here. So I think maybe... I gotta make a hard read. There's like nothing I can really do. At least if I get this off, I could maybe get a shot. And I could go for the miss. Okay, Serena switches out. Show me the instant. Okay. Okay. We're making... Okay. We're making reads. We're making reads. Show me no protect on Ogre. Even if we protect, I guess it's not too bad. Just show me no thunder. Okay, that's fine. Alright. So we're kind of making reads here. Uh, Origin Pulse. Hit the instant. Okay, we could do. Nice. Okay, so we knock out the instant, which is good. Because that's one Pokemon I don't have to worry about. It's still very tough of a <laughs> game up ahead. Uh, I'm guessing Ray's in the back. Yeah, Ray's in the back. Probably gonna have to sack. Can I afford to sack instant? Uh, maybe I can live a double up here. I think I have to like rely on Kyogre being able to knock out Rayquaza. Bandit would put me in range of my berry, I think. I'm gonna go for Leech Seed and Ice Beam here. I know it doesn't make too much sense, but I feel like there's a chance he might dragon set my Pharaoh. Cause you don't have much of an answer to Ferrofarn anymore since I got rid of the Ensign. So what I'm hoping is like Dragon comes out. I'm going to need my Ensign alive I think so I can deal with the Serena effectively. But I think I have to make this play. Wait, why is the race slower than the Ogre? Wait, what? What? You also crit my Pharaoh? Okay, what? What is happening? All right, Grand Scent. I survive? What is going on in this game? All right, Iron Bar's chip, minus one defense. What is, what is, going, what is going on? I, what? What? Land, land your moves, land your moves, please. All right, here's an Ice Beam. That's a Salt Vest Ray, okay. Lead seed. Connects. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now I double up the... Okay, I double up the race slot with... Uh... Actually, do I just double protect? I could double protect here. That might be obvious, but it it's a Solvest Ray. We confirm it with the damage. I'm thinking Serena comes in. That's a thing. Serena might come in here, and then I have to play a 50-50. Yeah, I should I should have went for the aggressive plays. Uh, I went for this play because I was like, okay, maybe I could like um, 
Because I wanted to make sure my Kyogre could live the Water Spout the next turn. So I wanted to get the health back. Uh, now I have to play a mind game of what comes out from this uh, duo. Alright, Water Spout. Mm, you have to double up my Ogre to knock it out. Actually, no, you don't. I'm just worried about High Jump Kick. I'm thinking High Jump Kick might come out here since it's Scarf. I'm going to go for the Ice Beam here because I can also risk the Power Whip Miss. And I'm going to go Ensign since I won't need Ensign anymore if I can knock out the Serena. Will I need to Ensign? Because I can't. I'm extreme speeded by Oh, I'm extreme speeded by uh, Ray. Oh, no. Oh, no. This could be bad. Well, I gotta go for something anyway. I need some kind of momentum. It is high jump kick, okay. So my opponent did lock in high jump kick. That's fine. All right, so that should get me the Serena knockout. Water spot's gonna come out. This should knock out instant at the range of that, right? Cause there's no rain. Okay, Ogre survives, that's huge. Oh. All right, so I knock out the Serena, which is great. Okay. Do I go Coco? Cause maybe I could live the extreme speed. I'm gonna go Coco here. Or do I go Pharaoh? I mean, we saw Pharaoh live to double up the last time. And that was a crit water spot too. So I think it's better to go a Pharaoh just in case. Uh, yeah. I think I just sack my, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, I know what to do. I sack Ogre here to the, I sack Ogre here. I protect my Pharaoh in case it's overheat on Ray. So I can bring in my Coco. Then next turn, I just double into the Ray with Gyrowall plus Z. Yeah, that's a, that's a play to win. All right, we protect Pharaoh. Water Spout gonna come out, which is okay. Let's see if it's overheat. Cause I just didn't, I just thought it wouldn't go for overheat the first time. Uh, Cause Dragon Sand covered pretty much every switch. Uh, it's just Dragon Sand, okay. You think Ray survives a gyro ball though? It's slow, like it's really slow. Um, It's better just a gyro ball anyway. The lead seed health doesn't really help me against a Ray unless I get like multiple protects. Yeah, and I could miss. And if I miss, that's really bad. So I'm going to go for the Z move into the Ray slot and Gyro Ball. Maybe I can protect Coco because I think you have to E-speed here, but we'll see. Of course, there's also the chance of a freeze happening. I do realize that. Or a burn. Actually, no, it was Origin Pulse, right? Yeah. Extreme speed. It's probably going to go for the Ice Beam Freeze. I'm really hoping you don't get it. Oh, wow. Wait, what? Why did my opponent spout? Uh, okay. That's a throw. Well, you gave up your only shot. Yeah. Ray goes down and that should seal up the game. Because even if you freeze me, like as long as I protect this turn, I should be gaining enough health back to win the game regardless. Yeah. All right, sweet. So Pharaoh been able to clutch out the game. How did it live that? Like, what is that Ray? That Ray is slower than the Ogre. So it's probably Timid Ogre. But like, the Ray did no damage. <laughs> is it just all bulk? Always go for the Protect. Yeah, it goes for the Ice Beam now. I'm just really surprised about the Ice Beam in the first place. And not going for the Ice Beam in the first place. Because, yeah. Luckily, it wasn't Scarf Ogre, but it was Scarf Serena. Somebody else had the Scarf. Somebody else had the Scarf. Uh, luckily, we were able to somehow come through with this game. Ice Beam. How much does it do? A third? Yeah. Fireball will put this Ogre in range of an Elite Seed. Yep. And that is going to be a good game. So, oh, clutch it out. Clutch it out. All right. Pharaoh clutching it out. Putting in the work. I thought... Once we saw a Scar Serena, I'm like, oh, I probably lost. But, uh, <laughs> it would have clutched it out. Pharaoh was putting in the work. It had the team on his back. It did exactly what I needed to do. Hang around, get the damage off. I was able to get, even though I 
mate, some aggressive eats, some of them worked, some of them didn't work, so, uh, yeah. But at least we were able to catch the Ensign, uh, Pharaoh was able to put in some work, and yeah. Able to accomplish the knockout, which was great. But, yeah, we'll go for the last game with this team, and so we'll see how it does. I'm hoping it involves a weatherballing ho -Oh. I would love that as the last, uh, battle for this team, but you never know. You never know. Yeah, I'll go with this song. Why not? But I'll put the team on back. Like <laughs> our best ogre matchup. Our best ogre matchup. Like that turn one was so bad for me. It was so bad for me. I mean, I got the read right, but it was like the Serena was faster, so it actually got damage into my uh, Coco, which I wasn't expecting. I I knew power was probably coming, but I was like, okay, you're not Scarf. But you were Scarf. And got the damage in the Coco, which made the Ray way tougher to deal with. Because having the Ray be able to, uh, having the Ray being able to uh, extreme speed knock out the Coco at any point in the game meant Z move was eliminated from the equation, and I wouldn't be able to knock out the uh, Ray really effectively. So luckily, we were able to get an Ice Beam off of Ogre. That was also really clutch. And then luckily uh, Pharaoh was able to just to live the attacks and sponge him up in order to stall out a few turns and uh, KO the Ray in return. So we got our last opponent from Japan, 1561 rating. Uh, let's see. Why is it always Ray Ogre? Why is everyone using Ray Ogre now? Uh, Rayquaza, Kyogre, Tapu Koko, and Sonora Pharaoh for an Enditto. Why is this matchup so bad too? Alright. I think everyone knows what I'm leading. Tapu Koko, Ho-Oh, -oh. Farifarn, Kyogre. Actually, do I even lead Coco? No, I don't lead Coco, right? I lead Coco Pharaoh. I lead Coco Pharaoh. Yeah. We'll see how this game goes. <laughs> it's looking, uh... Decently rough. <laughs> like this matchup is not favorable. It's not favorable. At least um my opponent can't bring five Pokemon because like Incineroar too. Like I you need Incineroar to deal with the Pharaoh unless you have overheat on the ray, or if you're I guess SD, but that's a bit harder to deal with Pharaoh, I think. So you can't bring all five Pokemon. Kyrie Tapakoko is two of them. I'm guessing you have to bring Ray in the back. And Pharaoh. Or maybe Ensign Pharaoh's your back. Alright, so that's a pretty good lead for us. Yeah, it's a pretty good lead. Um Wait. It's Scarf. Oh boy, it's Scarf Ogre. <laughs> My opponent really being cheeky here. Um Okay, that makes sense, actually, with the Ditto. This is like an old team from 16. There's no reason you would spout, right? Because Power Whip Protect is a player can make? What's my opponent rated? I'll make the safe play, turn one. I really... F oh, shoot. Instant. I mean, I didn't want to protect Pharaoh. It's fine because of how this works out, but like, okay. It's fine, I guess. Let's see what the Coco goes for. I was going to go for Power Whip. Okay, he Volt Switched to Pharaoh. Um, I'm going to go... For the Z into the Coco, because I want damage in the Coco slot. There's really not much he could switch into. And I'm going to go Kyogre here, because uh, I want to prevent Flare Bliss from happening. Eh, Flare Bliss wouldn't be doing much, though, to ho -Oh. But I can't let ho -Oh get sacked, because ho -Oh is absolutely necessary for my opponent's team. It is absolutely necessary if there is a Pharaoh in the back. So I can't risk it getting knocked out here. You're probably Volt Switching anyway. Kyogre can take Volt Switch damage. It's fine. Uh, it wouldn't be too bad for positioning. Uh, we'll override the rain with the Primordial Seed. Never seen... You don't really see that happen every day. 
think I'm gonna go out in the top of Coco. Yeah, the Volt Switch. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Actually, it's not that bad. Gonna go tackle. Okay. Uh, Kogo goes down. I'm kind of okay with this, I think. Crits me, but it probably didn't matter. Let me see. How fast is ho Because -Oh? Kyrie is 156. Which is like 220-something. Okay, so I outspeed under Tailwind. I want a Tailwind up. That's why. While my opponent can't threaten a knockout. Because I feel like if I go Pharaoh, there's a chance my opponent could go in a Ray. And I don't want that happening if this is Salt Vest Instant. I'm going to tail in here and just going to go for the Origin Pulse. Because I get good damage no matter what. Because Instant has a switch out here. Oh, no. I forgot they run it on this team and Thunder coming out. Oh, no. Oh, no. At least double hit Origin Pulse, please. Give me something for this. <laughs> okay. Oh man, I ripped off my headphones. Uh, my earbuds. No. Okay, at least I get rid of the Ensign. I mean, Tailwind's not too bad because like, the Scarf Oak, actually, does Tailwind even matter for my opponent? It doesn't. It really doesn't change anything for my side of the field other than I didn't get Tailwind up because my opponent's team was faster regardless. Kyogre and... There's no relief from this rain. <laughs> um, water spot doesn't knock me out, which is huge. Um, probably need to Brave Bird the Rayquaza, and I'm going to protect Ogre. I wonder if Spout in regular, in rain, in airlock would knock me out. I'm talking about the Ogre, by the way. I'm not talking about ho because -Oh, I know ho will survive this. Get Barry back. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Try and send into who? Oh wow, my opponent doubled up into the uh, ho -Oh. Will this knock out? Does... Is this Sash? Oh, it's Life Orb, okay. I go Pharaoh here. I feel like I live Spout, right? I feel like I do live Spout. Because Ogres are just so good. Because it's airlock boosted, right? I'm going to Ice Beam and Leech Seed. Because, okay, you're going to Mega Evolve, which makes sense. I think Spout will... Oh, wait, this Giant Sense is going to hurt a lot, isn't it? <laughs> Into the Pharaoh. I should protect an Ice Beam, because I think if I'm going for my out, I have to... Like, I'm banking on me living the dragon scent plus the spout. Oh, ray protects. Okay, that, that works. That very works. Okay. Here comes the water spout. Yeah, Kyrie survived. Okay, that was big. Please hit. Please hit. I should have power it, maybe, but I just don't know that Oko's Ogre. It probably did. Hmm. Alright, I'm double protecting here. If you have Swords Dance, that's um, really bad. But I don't think you would go for it in this situation. You already took Dragon Scent. Man, I wish I Ice Beamed that one turn. Instead of protecting Ogre. But I wasn't too confident. Uh, so we'll double protect here. Here comes Spout. 
Dragon Scent? Because, like, we just weaken the power of the Ogre's Water Spout bit by bit. Dragon Scent into the Pharaoh. And then we can play this game. We can play this game. I will be happy to play. Because uh, I don't think Life Orb Dragon Scent knocks me out, even after Spout Damage. And I'm healing back the Spout Damage, which is important. I'm actually gonna go for the double because I just don't see a reason not to. I might as well keep the spread damage. I failed the double. Well, it didn't matter. Like, the double didn't matter to me. I, it only mattered if Ray maybe protected because it'd be single target uh, water spout afterward. Okay, let's see. Moment of truth. Can Pharaoh live a dragon scent? We do have some phys physical defense investment, which is more than what I usually run on my Pharaoh. Let's see. Oh, clutch Pharaoh! Pharaoh's so clutch! Pharaoh is so clutch. Alright. We should be able to knock out Ray, too. It's a minus two defense. At least I might click Jarball into the Ray slot. If I click Power Up, I'll be super mad or Elite Seed for some reason. Jarball. Okay, nice. Oh, alright. Clutch it out. Clutch it out, Pharaoh. Beautiful clutch. Nice, 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 nice. And... Pharaoh wins the game. All right. Oh, it wasn't the star uh, for the last few episodes. It did star a lot, though. It did do a lot of work throughout the episodes, but Pharaoh coming in clutch this episode. Match is going to be forfeited, realizing can't win against the Pharaoh fund with the Kyogre solo, and we will be able to take that game. So ending, on, ending off the team on a high note. Hope everyone enjoyed today's episode, though, of VGC 2019 Brexit Battles. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like down below. Show us the support, as well as you can check out the rest of my stuff down below in the description, such as my social media, the side series on my channel, and all the other good stuff. If you want to try out this team, there is a paste of it down below, along with the team report of the team in the description. If you want to support this video and myself, there's leave me a like on this video, share it with your friends, and leave a comment down below. Otherwise, you can uh, check out my Patreon page and my Twitch channel if you want to go an extra mile to support my content. But otherwise, that is pretty much it. We'll be using a new team for the next episode. But otherwise, thank you all for tuning in. Have a great day, people. Until we battle again, I'll catch you all later.